In this video, we're going to look at the basic MIDI editing functions in Pro Tools. Generally, the Pencil tool is the best tool for editing MIDI in Pro Tools. This is because when editing in Notes view, the Pencil tool behaves like a smart tool. It becomes the grabber when placed over the middle of a MIDI note, which allows you to change the note's pitch or time. It becomes a trim tool when placed over either end of the MIDI note, and it offers additional functions when combined with certain modifier keys. Holding the Option key on Mac or Alt key on Windows temporarily changes the pencil to a selector tool. Holding the Control key on Mac or the Start key on Windows temporarily changes the pencil to the Marquee Grabber. And pressing Command on Mac or Control on Windows will activate the Velocity Trimmer. To manually insert MIDI notes, you'll first want to make sure that your track view is set to Notes. Then with the pencil selected, you can click to insert a note with the default duration. Or you can click and drag to insert a note with a longer duration. To set a different default note duration, you can click on the default note duration selector in the edit window toolbar and select a different note value from the pop-up menu. For example, if I choose 16th notes, any note that I pencil in will have a 16th note duration. You can also set the default note duration to follow the current grid value. If you'd like the default note duration to be a dotted or triplet value, first choose the desired note duration, like an eighth note, then reopen the pop-up menu and enable the dotted or triplet value. There are a variety of ways to select MIDI notes in Pro Tools. One is to shift-click each note with the grabber or pencil. Or I can drag a rectangle around a group of notes with the grabber. Or control click on Mac or start click on Windows and drag to select a group of notes with the pencil. I can also drag across a range of notes with the selector. Or hold the Option key on Mac or the Alt key on Windows and drag across a range of notes with the pencil. If I want to select a single pitch for the entire length of a track, I can click on that note in the track's mini keyboard with any tool. I can also use the track's keyboard to select a range of pitches by clicking on a key at one end of the range and shift-clicking a key at the other end, or I can simply click and drag across a range of keys. To transpose a MIDI note, I can simply click on it with the grabber or the pencil and drag the note up or down. You can hold the shift key if you want to make sure that you don't accidentally change the note start time. If I want to move a MIDI note in time, I can simply click on it with the grabber or the pencil tool and drag the note left or right. Hold the shift key if you want to make sure that you don't accidentally change the pitch of the note. To trim a note start and end time, select one or more notes, and then using either the Trim tool or the Pencil tool, click and drag near the start or the end of any of the notes. Note that the change will be applied to all selected notes. There are several ways to change note velocities in Pro Tools. First, you'll need to display velocities by either changing the Track view to Velocity or by clicking the Track Show Hide Lanes button. Then I can use either the grabber or the pencil to drag the diamond at the top of the velocity stock to a higher or lower velocity. You can also draw in new velocities by choosing any of the pencil tool shapes, like line mode, and then clicking and dragging. You can also scale velocities by selecting the notes you want to modify and then using the trim tool to increase or reduce the velocities. 
To delete a MIDI note or a group of notes, select the notes using either the selector or the grabber, and then go to the edit menu and choose clear, or simply press the delete key on your keyboard. You can also delete a single MIDI note with the pencil tool. Simply press the Option key on Mac or the Alt key on Windows, which will turn the pencil upside down to use the eraser. Then simply click on the note to delete it. And that's an overview of the basic MIDI editing features in Pro Tools.